you're in Miami, you're looking for Latin American food, where are you gonna find it? All over the place. I found this awesome spot though that I gotta tell you guys about. Check it out. Welcome back everybody. My name's Brian O. I am back in Miami and this is the hunt for the good stuff. So we're back in the Doral neighborhood of Miami. This place that we're at today is called Boca's House. Not to be confused with Boca's Grill, which I found out the hard way is not the same thing. Same owners, different concepts, both have delicious food. Now, this is the Latin American fusion in its own right, and they have a bunch of fun things. Let's dive in. We gotta get in on this, because this is always the fun part when it comes to this mac sauce. Oh, baby. Right now, like, immediate salivation. Look, I can barely even see you guys through this. So here we go. Oh, God. Mm. Um, one. It's incredibly hot. Two, it's incredibly delicious. Now, what I didn't tell you, you have 12 hours short rib in the mix as well. So, you got the, the double hitter coming from 12 hour short rib, nice and picked, nice and soft. You have bacon in the mix too. And then you have all those awesome cheeses. So, look at that. That big chunk you see right there? That's the short rib. Look at this. I mean, if it was just cheese, I'd be happy, but it's just all these other fun things attached to it, too. There's no way that's good for you? I don't care. I don't care. If I'm gonna go out, this is the way I'm going out. Stringy cheese and all. What's good about it, too, is almost in every bite, you get a little bit of that bacon, you get some kind of protein in there, whether it's the short rib or the bacon and then you have the double cheese effect. So mozzarella cheese goes a long way. Everybody's comfortable with that. Manchego, a little bit different, a little bit more esoteric, a little bit more cheese platter, if you will. Uh, but to throw it inside of mac and cheese, that's forward thinking. It's a little bit different, and that's why I love it. That's a meal in itself. So you go to a Latin American fusion spot. Here in Miami, once upon a time, it used to be all about the ceviche. That's how they would separate themselves from the rest of the country. Uh, they still continue that whole idea of just coming up with different creative ideas surrounded around ceviche at the core. Um, so traditionally, a product of Peru, it's evolved over time, and this is one iteration of it. So this is interesting because they basically take bell peppers, and they roast them up and then they make a light, delicate puree mounted with a little extra virgin olive oil, these little slivers of grana padana cheese. There's also shrimp in the mix. And we finish that off with Corvina. Uh, Corvina, uh, it's traditionally found in the Pacific waters, uh, southeastern Pacific to be exact. So off the coastlines of Peru, this is probably one of the main fishes that they use to make the ceviche originally. Um, now ceviche, you basically quote unquote cook it with uh, an acid. Uh, so lime juice, lemon juice, orange juice, whatever you can get your hands on. Uh, the traditional base for it though is lime juice. So Corvina, shrimp, Grana Padana cheese. Uh, you also have the roasted bell peppers and the bell pepper puree with extra virgin olive oil. So let's see how it all came together. Ooh, look at that. It's just so much protein literally in one bite. Mmm. Whoa. Eat good food, go to the beach, look good. Here's the Miami. And they don't skimp on the protein. Every single bite, a bunch of good stuff. Oh yeah. Look at that. What? Yeah. That no drip, pro status. Mm. All right, so this place, Boca's House, one of the first things that kind of turned me on to them was this whole idea of like insane desserts. So it's milkshakes, they're towering, there's a bunch of things going on simultaneously. Um, and you just kind of want to look at them a little, look at them a little while, but they're volatile. They melt on you. It, you have to respond to it quickly. It's like a living, breathing organism that just tastes fantastic. Mm. Oh. So at its core, it's a chicha milkshake. So uh, chicha, 
It's a South American delight, usually made from like a fermented or unfermented corn, um, mice, if you will. It's delicious, and it's actually layered with a waffle cone. There's additional chicha ice cream. There's a little bit of a cinnamon component. And then on top is the Tres Leches cake. Uh, tres Leches, it's evaporated milk, uh, condensed milk, and traditional milk. I think I'm getting that right. And it just looks really pretty from all the angles. Two straws, because you know the deal. Look at the gauge on these things too. And that's re always really important. Because, I mean, if you get like a little dinky straw and you can't like slurp up the milkshake, then you just say, this sucks, I don't want it. But they take care of you. So you got to go spoon in hand on this too. So I'm going to hit it with a little cake. Mmm. Super light, super flavorful. Wash it down with some chicha milkshake. Hit this up a little bit. Really nice though. Cheech. Cheech, cheech, my cheech. Mm. Alright, got a fun question of the week for you. What's your favorite milkshake place and milkshake that you get there anywhere? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like the video, Give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Every Sunday, something awesome. And you know the deal, everybody. You keep watching. I'm going to keep hunting. And I'm going to see you soon, okay?